Well, it's about 8 o'clock. Um, left camp at uh, 7, which is really early for me, so that's pretty good. I uh, had a good night of sleep. And I managed to uh, finally find the sun. And I found the river. But somehow, I lost the trail. Completely lost the trail. So, I'm sure I'll find it again. But I think I'm going to have breakfast first. So I've decided to uh, trip all my trip distance pretty much in the same amount of time since I had such a good day yesterday and I'm hoping to have a really good one today and tomorrow although it's 10.30 in the morning and I don't know if you can tell, probably not on the camera but I'm hiking this pretty steep trail and it's kicking my butt right now so I don't know, I think the Hikernator chip might be wearing now so Hopefully, in a few hours it'll reboot itself because now that I made that plan, I got two long days. Uh, somehow the battery is still working, but um, I don't know how long it'll last, so um, we'll catch up later. Okay, it's about 12 o'clock, and I've just been walking on this really kind of mellow, peculiar trail over here for a while. It's been like this for like half an hour. So there's this tiny little creek and then this tiny little bank and then it just drops on the other side and goes up on the other side and it's just kind of like a, I don't know, a walk on the beach almost. So and then there's another trail that goes who knows where. I guess I'll go straight. I got lost about three times already today, so anyways, this is a pretty little trail. Well, day two is uh, shipping it to be just as magnificent as day one. Um, I'm muffing and puffing a little more than I was yesterday, but I think I overdid it a little bit yesterday, but oh well. I'm having a grand time though. These gorgeous little trails here. I'm going through some totally washed out, dried out arroyos and burnt forest. Do some bushwhacking, really green. Do some nice little trails by the river, like this one. Anyways, having a blast. Another gorgeous trail. Um, it's two o'clock, day two, still. Um, so I made it all the way back down and back up to Santa Fe. And now I decided to make a loop all the way back to Pecos. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I just wanted to show a little bit of the it's nice shady trail over here. I found a pretty perfect spot for So this is a trip that um, I ended up doing. Um, started from Cows in Pecos and went up this, I'm marching on the map, but this closed trail that goes somewhere like this around up to Lake Catherine, which for some reason I thought it was going to take me longer to go there, so that was my first night destination, but as you know, I ended up there at lunch. So then I went down 
the High Line Trail and then follow the Rio Nambe to La Vega which is where I spent the first night and from there went down the Rio Nambe Trail all the way to where it meets the Borrego Trail up the Borrego Trail down to where it crosses the Rio and Medio Trail and then back through Aspen Ranch to the Ski Basin and on the Wizard Trail back up to Puerto Nambe where I spent the second night that's when the camera battery died and from there I looped back through Spirit Lake and back to Cal's campground and that was it